Uh, what we're going to do now is we're actually going to put Mylar up. This is lane two and it has a PAR sensor on it. So I'm going to put uh, Mylar underneath this one and Mylar underneath that bed. So bed one and bed two on lane two. And uh, I have some new lights, uh, same lights as what I have over here. Uh, and I'm going to put two of them here, one going that way, one going that way, and then one down there, one going this way. And that'll allow me to see a few things. First, it'll allow me to measure total PAR uh, at the PAR sensor here um, to make sure I don't screw that up somehow. And then uh, it'll also allow me to see the dynamics between light traveling along the mylar between beds. And I'll also be able to see um, over here how the additional uh, lighting over here actually impacts the lane over here. I can turn things on and off because these light bars, they're going to provide light not just up and down in this area, but it'll also diffuse out this way and then it'll catch the mylar and we'll get some more reflection. So I'm kind of excited to see how that's going to turn out. So this is just an experiment. So we have our handy dandy duct tape and I'm going to go cut the mylar and get this put up. All right, I just got the mylar up and here you can see the reflective surface. And now, uh, you should be able to see it. Well, maybe you can't see it. I can see it here if I can get the right angle. You can see there's light coming all the way from the door. And that's what we're going for here is to bounce that light around. So now I'm gonna put the uh, light bars under here and we're gonna see what happens. Before I get going uh, too far and putting the lights up, I want to take some base readings. Now, um, these readings are going to be relative to the particular time of day, the particular sun location in the sky, um, the amount of cloud cover, in this our case, smoke cover. Uh, so I'm going to have to take these readings every time and keep everything relative to the base. So I'm going to take my base reading in the middle of the lane here on my sensor, which tells me 60 micromoles per meter squared per second. And I'm gonna just shorten up that micromoles per meter squared per second uh, to be par. So I'm just gonna call it par. So this is 60 par right here. And then as I go in, that 37, sorry, let's do that again. Let's reset it right here. 52 par. As I move in, 50, 48, 44, 35, 30, 26, 22, 18, 14, 7, 6, we're at 7 par at the middle of the lane uh, off of our initial reading of 50. So from 50 down to 7. Take another reading. It's 55 right here. And roughly 7. So comparing that to a non-covered lane, I'm going to go down and take a reading at the far lane here that's not covered. So the reading without the mylar on it is at 39 far. Here above it, which is closer to the sun, so that makes sense, is 45. So the mylar certainly covers up quite a bit, and this is um, going to be consistent with all the trays being up here, right? Because we're going to have all these trays. Oh, there's some right there, right? 
So all those trays are going to be up there, and they're going to be blocking all the light coming down, except for light coming in this way. This is the southern wall over here. So we will be reflecting some light, but obviously you can tell not as much. So let's get the lights in there and see what happens. I just put the first light in. Now because this is the head of the lane, I'm putting it facing this direction, so it's going that way, and it's bouncing light off this way. So the PAR sensor here in the middle, uh, right over here, is getting reflected light, not primary light. Let's take our reading manually here. So I'm at 48, 47, 40, 33, 29, 18, 14, 11. So by adding one light, we increased it up to uh, 11 from 7. Let's add another light. I just added the second light, and I have them both pointed in. So we're getting a reflection here and down, and here and down. So I should see an increase. Now out here at control, we're now down to 45. You can see how sensitive it is as the uh, sun changes position here. Going in, 37, 34, 29, 24, 22, 18, 15, 14, 14. So the first reading was 7, then it went up to 11, then it went up to 14. Oh, the third 16. 16, we'll call it 16. I just added the third light down there, which is going to give some reflection back here. So I'm going to measure, measure our control point again. We're at 40 now. Seventeen. There's twenty-nine, so there's the big reflection right there. Nineteen, fifteen, thirteen, twenty-nine, eleven, twelve, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, twenty-three. There's a reflection right there. So we're basically going up and down. Well, we just had our uh, first experimental failure, and uh, it happened pretty fast. Uh, what was going on is we were watering the upper trays, and it's pretty obvious all that water collected on the uh, mylar. Didn't think about that. Should have. Uh, and then we have water running all over the place, so I had to rip it down quickly uh, so we didn't have any water get on places that are sensitive to water. Uh, so, bottom line up front on this is mylar will not work and if you puncture a bunch of holes in it, still not gonna matter because water's gonna settle on that mylar. It's gonna be a place for algae to grow. It's gonna be a place for mold to grow, fungus. Uh, and then in the summer, you'll have mosquitoes that will get in there as that water sits there because you can't get all that water off uh, unless you put a bunch of holes in it, which negates the entire purpose of a reflective surface. So uh, we're back to square one. Uh, essentially, we have a few options. Uh, left and that is we can do uh, one light every two feet you get two foot coverage uh, with this that's six lights total per lane um, and or we're back to maybe having a moving system here like this but we're, you can't do that with just one light you have to have at least two and maybe three so going to need to go and do those calculations. Uh, but this is why we experiment, right? Is to uh, figure out what's going to work and most importantly what's not going to work. And today we figured out what's not going to work. Uh, so we're going to take that one off the list and move on. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's uh, work that we got done. It was a good day. Uh, didn't get as much done as I had hoped, but uh, we're in a really nice spot. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter if you like. In the meantime, everybody, this is Real Martian, out.